We Christians can be a very interesting lot. We're said to be followers of a God who is the personification of love, and yet we sometimes argue, fight, and divide over the most trivial things. Is there a time to divide? Of course there is, but those times are far more rare than we think. If someone turns against the teachings of the Word of God or tries to teach a false gospel, then it's time to part ways. But even then, we should be praying for the person and trying to win them back with the truth. You see, the truth is division in the body of Christ is almost always a terrible detriment to the church. We get prideful and we end up spending all of our time fighting each other and not very much time doing the things we were put here to do. You know, helping others and serving others and sharing the love of Christ. In general, representing Him as He is. The butting of heads has got to stop. In John 17, Jesus prayed that we might be one as He and the Father are one. There are a lot of reasons for this, but chief among them is found in verse 23, where Jesus says, May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Our unity is evidence of God and his love to the world around us, not just for us, but for them. After all, how will people outside the church believe we love them if we can't even love each other? And how will they believe God loves them if they don't believe that we love them? We represent Jesus. Jesus said they will know you are my disciples by the way you love one another. Will we answer Jesus' prayer by being united? After all, if we look hard enough, we can find many reasons to divide. But what unites us is Jesus.